If you're anything like me, you've already gone through the process to go ahead and declutter your house, declutter your room, throw out what you don't need, donate what you want, and you're feeling pretty damn good about yourself. But then again, the thought of actually selling some of the items that you have makes you want to run for the hills and you're like, mm, I'm not here for it. I'm too lazy to be able to even begin to start that whole process. So if you're feeling like you don't want to go ahead and post your, take the photos, post what you need to, package them up, post them to people, deal with the shipping costs, deal with all of the people that would be responding to it, to your post, all of that kind of stuff. And you're like, how do I make this easier? Let me just show you. I have been going through the process to sell some of my items over the past few months. And I've actually learned that there's a few simple ways and easier ways to be able to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to share with you five ways that I've been doing that and five tips to help you along the way. Now, if this sounds like what you're interested in, give this video a big thumbs up and let's get into it. Now, I want to show you a way to be able to sell your clutter without having to go about selling it on eBay because it feels like eBay is the only place that you can sell. And to be honest, I haven't been on eBay since freaking 1996 for something. <laughs> I haven't sold anything on there for the longest time and I actually have no intention of doing so whatsoever because even the thought of it is just too much. I, d I just don't want to go through that whole process. I ain't got time. The first tip I want to get into is making sure that you're selling your items locally. I don't mean selling them so that you can post them internationally or post them and they can sell across the across the country. Great if you want to go ahead and do that, no problem. But for me, I don't want to have to deal with all the packing, shipping, calculating shipping costs, all of that stuff, posting it online and putting all those different components inside that you have to do inside of eBay and I'm like, ah! Oh my God, so I'm saying on my PayPal account. Like I, it's just, all of that makes me just want to run for the hills. <laughs> I don't want that. So sell your items locally. That could mean selling them on Facebook. That also means selling them on Craigslist if you live in the US or selling them on Gumtree if you live in Australia or if you live in the UK as well. Those are really great places to be able to sell your items locally so someone can come and pick them up. <laughs> so that you don't have to go through the process of actually going ahead and packing it up and sending it. Because a lot of the things that I have been selling recently have been fairly big items. And so, and they're chunky as well. I can't ship those things. So it's easier if I just get someone to pick them up. So if you're wondering who I am, my name is Janet and I am on a, on a mission to fight for the simplicity of life and having three kids, managing that full-time job and all of that stuff. Like I'm just literally at the point in my life where I want to fight to make things simple. And so that means clearing out my house, making things simple as possible tip is to make sure that you're selling items of value. So something that people will actually go into the shop and pay for and pay for a significant amount of money for. I found that even with some of the items I have listed at the moment, one of them being my my son's um, spikes for his uh, track running. And I found that even with that, like they were fairly expensive, like they were expensive, but he grew out of them within three months. So I had, and they're brand new. So really sell items that are items of value that people will actually pay for in the shop whether that's clothing or whether that's uh, uh, shoes or bags, accessories um, and furniture that you have, make sure it's of value that someone will actually pay for it and they can see that, oh, actually it's in good condition. I'm getting this at a good deal and a discounted rate. The next one is making sure that your descriptions are good. I found that's helped a lot and really cut down on that whole a messaging exchange when you're going through the process to sell your item. So for example, if someone is looking for a red table, this red table that I sold is a kid's play table, picnic table. It's, a, I put a really decent description and at the very top, I shared why this person might be looking for a table like this. Are you looking for a table to include in your playroom? Are you looking for a table for your kids to play on and in the picnic, uh, have a picnic table outside? That kind of thing. Really, that first bit to share why that person is looking for it really pulls them in. Just like with anything, anything, right? You're looking for something. You're looking for a pair of shoes. You found an amazing pair of blue shoes and you're looking for a pair of shoes to go with an outfit that you've got, right? If that is the case and you are selling those shoes, make sure you put that at the top. Like write it in a way that that person will understand. Like, hey, oh my goodness, she gets me. 
she's speaking to me right now. That's what I'm looking for. That's the reason why I clicked on this post. So that's a really good way to draw people in and to look at the description. Make sure as well inside of that description, be as honest as possible. If it's got scuff marks, if it's got scratch marks, if it's got whatever it is, make sure that you include as much information in there as possible about the item. Then as well, make sure you put the details about whether they pick it up, no delivery, <laughs> right? No delivery, pick up only, maybe make, if you want to put the suburb or the area that you live in, don't put your address, but actually put the suburb or the area that you live in where they'll potentially come and pick that up from, include that inside of the description as well. And also another tip, share why you are selling this item. Why are you selling it? I'm selling it, as in, the, in this case with the red table, I'm selling this item because my kids have outgrown it and we no longer have the space for it. We no, no longer need it. Be clear and honest with those people because it's really interesting Like what people will buy. Like I always thought some things think, well, no one's going to buy that, but actually they do and it sells for a really good price. My other tip is, as I mentioned before, be honest. Be as honest as possible inside of those posts, inside of the description, and share the reason behind it. So I'm going to tell you a little bit, a little bit of a story. So with these curtains that I had, when we moved into this house, probably about a year ago and bought this house, moved in, these were the curtains that were hanging in the dining room. Now, I, at first I saw them, I was like, they will do for the time being. And then a year later, then we went ahead and changed them. For someone... These are pretty good curtains and they purchased and bought those curtains for about $400, which is like an obscene, obscene amount of money. And they're double lined as well. And I was like, someone will want this. I don't want them because they're ugly as hell, but I know that someone will absolutely love these. So I'm definitely going to go ahead and sell them. So I posted them up on uh, Gumtree and I got so many responses about them. I sold them for about $60 in the end, which is like nothing, but I just wanted them out. And I thought, hey, I can make a little bit of money on it. But the thing that I want to point out with the honesty point that I'm saying here is that I there were stains on there there were marks on there and I put that all in the description so that person who is buying them knows what they're buying and it cuts down on that whole email exchange what are the curtains like do they have this do they have marks on them blah blah all of that stuff it's all cut out they already know that all the information is there and when they come back with a stupid question just like oh well how long have you had them for if you make sure that you put that in the description like every single question that they will potentially ask you put that in the description so that then you can just say yep yeah, all the details are in the description read it <laughs> basically and ask me stupid questions it's in the description the last one that i want to share with you as well is if you are selling clothes. Now I'm going through the process to sell some of my clothing and I shared in a previous video that I decluttering um, my closet and some of the clothes that I'm selling and I'm going through the process to do that. So I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek here. I don't wanna be taking photos of those clothes because there's a lot of them. I don't want to do that. So I'm actually going through the process to sell them via consignment. So while doing my research, there's actually, there aren't that many stores here here in where I live where I can literally go in and give them those items and then they can give me money straight away for them. There's a little bit, it's, it's not the same as in the US and maybe some of the other videos that you may have seen online. It's actually a little bit different. So I've sent some of my items off to a consignment store and one of them was already sold, woohoo, which I'm really excited about. Um, and so they take all the photos they do all of that stuff and then they sell it on my behalf and then I get 50% back of that I'm here for it <laughs> I don't and I don't have to do anything else unless you just take the items if they're good enough they'll take them and they'll do all of that and selling on my behalf so then I don't have to do it which is so much easier <laughs> so this is as I said, my lazy guide to actually selling my items without having to stress myself out. So I hope that really helps you and hopes that gives you some, some ideas about actually selling your items if you think it's just way too much work, way too stressful and just literally has you running for the hills. I'm hoping that that's helped. There's also a really vi a great video that I did, um, I did recently where I went ahead and decluttered my closet and got rid of some of some beautiful items that I just, you know, I actually won't wear <laughs> because your girl here has gained a little bit of weight and they just don't fit. <laughs> 
if you want to go ahead and check out that video, go ahead and follow this link here. And I would love to lo hear from you in the comments. What's the biggest tip that you're going to take away from this video that you're going to maybe go ahead and implement for yourself? I'd love to hear from you. And until next time, gorgeous, see you later. Bye. Ha, ha, ha.